So Frederic Constant is a classical brand. We founded the company in 1988 to make classical watches at accessible luxury prices. That means most of the watches are in the price range 1,000 to 5,000 euro. In our collection we have three levels. The top is manufacture with in-house developed and in-house produced, in-house assembled uh, calibers. Then we have the entry level automatic segment and at the bottom we have the, uh, the quartz watches primarily for ladies and the ultra sim one. The uh, manufacture collection is, uh, is meanwhile since 2004 and we started at the time because we wanted to make a special version of the, uh, of the heartbeat. Heartbeat with the opening, we wanted it to move it to 6 o'clock. We wanted to reverse the uh, regulation mechanism. And to be able to do that, we had to design and develop uh, the entire caliber in-house. You know, at the time, uh, we worked for three and a half years to make uh, indeed only one movement, a hand wind with our minutes. So uh, the most simple version of a movement you can think of, because it was indeed a huge project. We did it together with the University of Geneva, the watchmaker school in Holland, and the watchmaker school in Geneva. So we really enlisted as much as possible experts to come and help us. Um, in fact, at the time, it was not to become independent. Nowadays, everybody thinks that. But at the time, the Swatch Group was still delivering movements, and our partner, Celita, was still getting the eboshes from the Swatch Group. So there was not yet the threat. It was really for, um, for, for the creation of something special, something new. Um, so within the manufacture, let's stay with that for a moment. So we had first the one with just our minute. The year later we came with a moon face. Then one more year later we had an automatic. Uh, then we had an automatic with moon face. So we step by step build it up. Then we came with a tourbillon. We came with the world timer. We came what we call the 705 moon face and date by hand at 6 o'clock. So progressively we built up more uh, manufacture calibers uh, to really create beautiful new designs. And finally this year we are introducing a perpetual calendar. We don't have to mention the name but there is another perpetual calendar that came on the market uh, a year and a half ago at a very attractive price. And we felt that that was, uh, in fact, uh, eating into our strategy, uh, our accessible luxury strategy of really offering uh, traditional uh, Swiss watches at a very attractive price. So we investigated this product first. And one of the things we found is that the eyes are very much in the center of the dial. And this is because uh, that caliber is actually made about 10, 15 years ago and it is made for smaller watches. So the first um, briefing to the design team was, what can we do with a today's size, which is a 42 millimeter, um, and how can we make it uh, more balanced in terms of design? So the first thing we did is to really make the position of the eyes, make them more outside. When it's more outside, you have more space, so you can make the eyes larger then the printing inside the eyes also is larger. So it makes the whole dial much more readable. And then we froze that, and at the position of the pivots, then they started to develop the underlying caliber. First of all, uh, the team started with the work they done before for Atelier de Monaco. There we have a perpetual calendar also, and also with the flyback chronograph with a lot of levers. So we used the know-how developed there over a period of six years to see what we can use in the most economic way for the perpetual calendar for Frederic Constant. And doing it this way, they actually reduced the number of components uh, as well as they really integrated uh, some of the components 
uh, like for example the date cam and the date wheel so that uh, those parts when they are assembled into the main plate they will immediately work and thereby the assemble process, assembly process is much faster and we save uh, a substantial amount and within our strategy we give them this cost saving to, uh, to the consumer by, by uh, offering the product at a lower price so that's how we reach the, the, the 8,000 euro for a perpetual calendar like this. Um, uh, well, beyond expectation, uh, we had a production run planned for 500 pieces. Um, and we have already decided now, after, uh, after the four days here in Basel, to double that to 1,000 because we have already sold around 400 pieces and typically in Basel uh, we sell maybe maximum 20% of the quantity on, on an annual level. So it's clear that uh, a product like this, which is slightly outside the, the core range of Frederick Constant in terms of pricing, uh, there is a big demand. It really shows uh, true watchmaking, uh, manufacture watchmaking, and uh, we're of course very happy that the customers, they appreciate this uh, in a time when you also have a lot of cheap watches and maybe eco economics are and, and the economic climate is not the best. And then uh, we have this surprise of uh, much more orders than, uh, than that we initially uh, anticipated.